A small garden in the town of Tuam, where paper hearts and baby shoes hold vigil over one of Ireland's most shameful secrets, the scale of it surfacing still. It was the site of the Bon Secours mother and baby home, where so many unwed mothers were sent in disgrace. P.J. Haverty was one of the children born there, and then taken from his mother. It was always the woman that was to blame. It was always the woman's fault. And that's why I like to give my story out there. And I want this to go into the history books of Ireland. Still, Haverty counts himself as lucky. He eventually met his mother. He also survived. Nearly 800 children from the church run home didn't. The remains of many, from babies to three-year-olds, thought to be buried under the ground in a sewage tank. The report released today says 9,000 babies died in 18 religious institutions over several decades. The regime described in the report wasn't imposed on us by any foreign power. We did this to ourselves as a society. We treated women exceptionally badly. Campaigners have been calling for an inquiry and justice for the victims for several years now. Not everyone believes this report is enough. Catherine Corliss, credited with discovering the mass grave in Tuam, is disappointed with it. The burials and disappearance of babies, uh, that wasn't approached on at all. And those issues are of utmost importance to survivors. PJ Haverty agrees with her. There's nothing there today that would say, God, that's fantastic, now my mother is being recognised or they're apologising to my mother. And they didn't do that today. The past is still a long way from being put to rest. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.